So I like to kind of stuff this and then I almost drag it like over his belly and then cut and then my rib cage or my, my oblique fall off. Aware, so one thing we were talking about is dragging that knee across the stomach. See how I'm almost like pointing my knee inwards and I'm dragging across his stomach and it's cutting through as I punch my head to catch myself. This arm, I'm going this deep and I'm pulling it into myself. Now when he goes to move right here, very, very difficult. Now as soon as my shoelaces pop through, don't come up like this, he'll bring everything inside and he'll recover. Do that fancy knee slice for now. I'm gonna come here and look, I'm gonna walk, 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 walk until his hips turn and you see my knee goes under his tailbone. Now my elbow closes on his hip. Now when he goes to recover his guard, I'm keeping pressure towards the hips. It's like a vice grip around his hips. Now I can go for underhook. Heck, you can do what we've been practicing this week, the near side underhook, tripod, you can go mount. Or if you wanna attack the arm, you go post, lift, beat the wrist with the head position. Now you can start going for things like the more. It just kind of depends where you want to go. I'm just hooked on. Yes. Yeah. And then when I want to, I get yeah. the main reason to even do it is just to get points on the yeah. fight scenario. Yeah. Like the UFC, a lot of the guys they'll stay in half guard. Yeah. It's a better pinning position. That lower, I'm like making some good contact with his hamstring. Throwing my body weight onto the guy. You should be really heavy with your chest and your hips onto his body. Huh. But when, once I get this, it's really hard to get out. I'm like attached. You know, he, he would even do it from sit up guards. So, like, let's say you're sitting up and he said, you bring here, we'll go into here. And now he can just pass because he's got the upper body control now. Like, I need it. And now, once I'm here, I either walk through the hips or push up. So I think whipping that arm back around, remember we're dragging that knee too. This is where it's uh, set. You may want to get a little bit more throwing your body into it. Like, wow. You know, connecting my body right here. You know, punching the ground. And now I've got a good base. I think that's another thing with it too. It makes your base wider. It's more balanced. Let's try it out. Okay, get into headquarters. So depending on what this knee is telling me, if it's opening up to my left, towards the outside space, I'm gonna knee slice. Now when it starts to smash this way because he's defending it, I'm gonna come here, preferably inside bicep tuck. He's bombing it's out. Smash, making sure these legs are connected. Light low, head on the chest, driving forward. It's as simple as that. So I come in, I can't knee slice because he's forces you that way. I'm happy that way side. So, come here, I can't knee slice. Come on to the side. One last thing I would add to that, everything is perfect right there. If you want to chain this to something, you know, you guys have been working that body lock a lot. Boom, this is going tight waist up here. I go from a tight waist to a high tripod. So I just come here and I go into this tripod position. And now I can do windshield wipers. With my feet, and I can start getting around this thing. So, if you want to connect it to something, connect it to that body lock high tripod. But this is a great, great move right here. I saw him drill that, and I was like, that's exactly what I like to do. So, you got a knee cut, and you got a dilemma. You need to play the person. Do you like the, uh, like the, the knee push method? Yeah, you can tap that knee. knee or open that knee. It's really good. I love that one. Hmm. Let's give that a shot, guys. Let's give it a shot. First, kind of give him like a Car, and then he's just and he's striking the ground as this cuts through and then he's walking back through. You talk about the play between the smash and the Yeah, so if you, if you feel like he anticipates this one a little bit, you can also go here. And now I like to get my head under this. I don't like to leave my head up here. Yeah. I like to leave my head up here and now I start piking up and walk my feet up and now I can start. Wow. Huh. They call it. That's a great dilemma to play. It gives you two branches to go off of. Great warm up too. You can see those guys were warming up with that for like 
They did that for 20 minutes. You know? They just did that one drill for 20 minutes. God, I can also go Instead of opening this one, I can get a little window there. I'm gonna keep my hook, I'm gonna pop it off, and then I'm gonna walk back like this. Mm. That way he can't be able to escape. Let him keep the foot right here. Okay. Because this isn't really doing much for you, right, Jack? No. <laughs> I can just keep it right here. I can just keep it right here. And then when I'm ready, I can just tap. I've been drilling a lot of that uh, lately, but that's just for my style as well. You yeah. come in, you come on, we went around and go he had told me this like probably a month ago, but like where you come in, like say you're here, chain point, yeah, and then you can like punch here, yeah, and then go over the top of the head, yeah, yeah, and then here. But I was curious, yeah, like you know, you can lift him up, maybe yeah, take your back, lift him up, take him back, oh, wow, just pin his hips, stick him in the Right, work on something from from north south. But yeah, mm. great yeah. style of passing. Yeah, I love that. Dan does a lot of that. Um, Tristan does a lot of that. I'm I'm trying to work. On 